Welcome to the Food Waxing Show. Today's topic is ways to make your waxes less painful. So I don't usually go on live on, what's today, Tuesday, but I wanted to come on here and share these because it was such a good discussion yesterday. Hey, uh, Mrs. Melanin Queen to you. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Uh, Tila, just, Tila, just Lee, Tila? Hopefully I said that right. Welcome. Welcome, Miss C underscore eight. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Hey, Alyssa, welcome to the Waxing Show. Good to see you. Uh, hey Lola, good to see you. Welcome back to the Dubu Waxing Show. If you're new here, let me know where you're coming from so I can greet you properly. Mrs. Melanin Wade, hey. Um, welcome to the Dubu Waxing Show, uh, Demi Linda Four. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, there's some new faces, so welcome here. And there's some old, so welcome back if you're if you're coming back. Um, if you're new, let me know where you're coming from. How you doing? I usually uh, go live Wednesday through Friday, but I wanted to get on here um, and go live <clears throat> and go over this ways to make waxing less painful. Uh, hey, stylus, stylus, did Lena? Welcome to the Waxing Show. Good to see you. Hey, uh, Crystals Royalty. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Welcome back to the Waxing Show. Style, stylist did Lena. Hey, uh, if you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I don't usually go live uh, on Tuesdays, but I wanted to. I was feeling like it. Um, and I wanted to share ways to make it less painful because yesterday I talked about why you should ditch your razor and start getting Brazilian waxes. And there was a lot of good questions. And so I was like, well, let me go off of some of these questions that I got. So one of the questions were, is waxing really painful and you know I'm honest with you it is painful it's hair coming out of your skin like it's painful but there are ways to make it less painful and I wanted to go over that today so um, I'm going to intro if you're new how I run the show is that I intro the show so you know what I do how I help you with your skin and different services I offer and Kind of what this whole thing is about uh and then i um go into the topic and then usually i open it up for questions at the end if you have like wax specific questions so that's how it works and if you've been watching me uh on the show i have been working on drinking more water and i this is 64 ounce and i encourage you to drink water if you're watching this while I'm drinking water, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much done for, for the day. Um, I did really good today, but uh, I encourage you to drink water while you're watching it, so you can improve when your health, but your skin, your hair, those kind of things. So grab your water, and let's get drinking. <clears throat> so welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show, and so you remember. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. My name is Becca. I'm a pro waxer, skin therapist, and a licensed esthetician since 2010. Hey, um, S. G. Christoph, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. I'm going into the intro. Uh, so I'm a licensed esthetician. I'm licensed in Arizona and in California. Uh, I help people remove unwanted hair. So unwanted hair from your hairline to, yes, you can wax your hairline, um, to your toes. So anything in between there. Don't wax your, your head. Um, but I've gotten asked that question, like, do you wax people's heads? No, I don't. 
I help people remove acne, um, discoloration, ingrowns, uh, whether that be ingrowns on your face, ingrowns on your body, anything like that. I do that through uh, full body waxing and I use hard wax. Hey, uh, SB Nate 98, welcome to the Boo Waxing Show. I use hard wax instead of soft wax or sugaring. And uh, this whole month and next month, I will be going on the show talking about waxing. So that's the topic of the show for the next two months. Uh, hey, the Libra. Hey, Tara. Welcome. Welcome back to the Boo Waxing Show. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, I also do it through facials, chemical pills, and um, products, different products. Uh, I am certified in uh, chemical pills. I'm also PCA certified. I actually took a class this morning um, on PCA skin, on doing dermaplaning with pills. Uh, but yeah, so those are ways I can help you with your skin. Um, hey, Philly, Kev Co. Welcome to the Boo Action Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Uh, Libra said, hello, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Doing fabulous. Hope you're doing well. So those are the ways I help. Um, I'm known for my exfoliating pads, which are the acne and ingrown pads and the fruit enzyme pads. They're chemical exfoliants. Uh, that are great for sensitive skin and I am going to finish orders and since I got some today I'm going to finish orders tonight and tomorrow so I will go to the post office tomorrow I was gonna to go to the post office today but I was like no so <laughs> I will be going to the post office tomorrow I uh, started packing them or labeling them but I haven't officially pack them all so and I have to label some of the pads so I'll do that tomorrow if you ordered um, some exfoliating pads uh, I also help estheticians start their own product line start their own salon suite attract clients and improve their waxing technique uh, if you're a licensed professional I can help you with any of those things I used to work for companies before I opened up through waxing and was their uh, regional waxer or pro waxer where I would train um what else so like i said i go live usually wednesday through friday and this is just a special treat for you today uh at 3 26 p.m pacific standard time so if you want information on waxing sent to your email click the link in the bio uh go to the wax lounge and you can join there uh, hey, uh, Debbie the SD. Hey, Debbie the SD. Welcome to the Three Watching Show. And your grandma <laughs> posted something that she knew. And I was like, oh my gosh, I know her uh, on some post. I think it was you. She, it, I don't know too many Debbie the SDs. Uh, welcome to the Three Watching Show. That lady, V. Um, so yeah, if you are wanting wax information sent to your email, join the wax lounge, click the link in the bio on Instagram at 3B Waxing. And oh, there you go. Um, then she said, hey. Yeah, she told me. Oh, yeah, for work. Yeah, I was like, what? Um, that was funny. So if you are interested in ingredients, then you want to join the lab. I talk about ingredients often so for the month of April and March we did a lot uh, we did a lot of talking about ingredients I basically went through a bunch of the ingredients in here so that way you know what's in your products and you know where your ingredients are coming from hey Chelsea um, VYBZ welcome to the boxing show hey Mimi's beauty bar welcome to the boxing show if you are new to the show let me know where you're coming from um, so I can greet you uh, let's see. Oh, and then if you are a salon professional, because I just saw um, some estheticians come in, I you want to join the salon T. That's where I send out information about growing your clientele, uh, starting your own product line. A lot of people I've talked to work at EWC. I've worked there twice actually, and um, 
they like want to know questions about going from there to owning their own place in their own salon and so um, that's where I send that information through the salon team but so those are the different ways to stay connected uh, through email and then of course you can always do one-on-one -on -one calls with me and all that stuff is available if you click the link in the bio hey uh, Velma Allen 6 welcome to the boxing show all right so the topic today I okay I wrote down what I wanted to say isn't this for some of you guys are new isn't this notebook just so cute it's like flowery and it's uh good for the environment but I wrote down some things. I do have one announcement for my salon professionals um, because I got a few of you talking about how you're going from uh, working somewhere as a salon professional and then wanting to have your own salon. Click the link in the bio and the 13th button is, um, the 13th button is where you would uh, do the, mini course you learn about the mini course to go from having your working for someone and then having your own salon hey shoddy um ben trail welcome to the three waxing show welcome welcome hey true tenor welcome to the three waxing show and if you're new let me know where you're coming from if you're new to the show we're talking about waxing today dv the sd said i want to talk to you about the exfoliation pads also we can talk privately. Wonderful. I love to talk to you about them. Wonderful. Okay, cool. So, how to make waxing less painful. So, the question I got was, is waxing painful? Yes, it is. It is painful. Um, but there's a lot of things that you can do to improve uh, your wax and improve it so it's not that um, painful. She said, I'll send a DM. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, so I'm just gonna go into the list of it, but yeah, I'll just go into the list. I was like, how will I talk about it? The first obvious one is, you know, you can take ibuprofen or Tylenol before um, your wax, 30 minutes before your wax, you can uh, take ibuprofen. Now, some people don't really like to take ibuprofen because it thins the blood, so they'll take Tylenol, but either one works. Um, hey, Leslie, welcome back to the Waxing Show. Good to see you, girl. How are you? So, uh, ibuprofen or Tylenol, 30 minutes before, um, so it'll help with the pain. You can also do a numbing spray or a numbing cream. Um, you can also do a spray or a numbing cream. When you come into the salon with me, I don't put a numbing cream on you. Um, I used to tell people, just take it like a woman. You got this. But, uh, I did try, since I've been uh, in quarantine, I did try a spray, like a pain spray from Target. I forget the name of it. I did email those of you who are on the email list about the name of it and I sent the link. But there is a, a pain, like it's good for pain, like if you have foot pain or back pain or something, it's like a, a numbing spray. Uh, and I tried it for my underarms and my Brazilian. And I didn't really feel the effects of my Brazilian, but I don't even, I don't even think a Brazilian hurts that bad. Obviously I've been waxing for a long time and that helps it, um, that helps it not hurt as well. So if you are consistent with waxing, your hair will thin out over time. So your waxes are less painful. So that's one of the uh, tips for you. So stay consistent is basically what I'm saying. But I did use the spray on my underarms and noticed that after, cause like after I get waxed my underarms, it can be sore a little bit sometimes. And so I didn't have any soreness after I used the pain spray from Target. So you can just put in like numbing spray or pain spray from Target. And I used that before 
like 30 minutes before I started waxing and then wax and that helped with the pain so if you want to if you like I'm really sensitive because I do have clients who are very very sensitive and clients who they don't feel anything um, pain wise so whatever you are on that scale uh, decide what works for you but definitely that spray is something I used and I thought it was um, very useful for the underarms hey um, I love Ro welcome to the waxing show good to see you welcome to the box show so ibuprofen Tylenol the numbing spray being consistent with your waxes and consistent meaning three to four weeks between your waxes uh, throughout the year so that's one a month and maybe you probably need to do like 13 because you know there's like an extra month sometimes anyways try to do 12 to 13 the next tip I have for improving your pain uh, with waxing is exfoliating so I talk about this so much and for those of you who don't know um, when Debbie was like oh De when Debbie the SD was like, oh, I talked about exfoliating pads. She's talking about these pads that I have. I um, wholesale them to other estheticians. So these pads are in other salons. They're in actually a salon in Trinidad. So they're out of the country as well. But um, exfoliating, exfoliating, exfoliating. I created these pads for my clients. Uh, you definitely want to exfoliate because if you exfoliate the dead skin, you are gonna loosen up that dead skin so that the hair comes out easier. There was a trainer I had, a um, wax trainer. Hey, I am Nadin Devil. Welcome to the Waxing Show. I probably messed that up, so sorry. Um, but welcome to the Waxing Show, glad to have you here. There, what was I saying? Oh, there was a waxer that trained me um, at one of my jobs and she said, her name is Mary, she said that um, she would explain exfoliating to her clients this way and I use it to explain it to my clients as well. So she would say it's like cement and a pole, kind of like the cement and poles you see uh, for, with parking and stuff like that and when you exfoliate you loosen up that cement so the pole comes out and ever ever since you told me that I've been telling my clients that because it's a good visual of learning what exfoliating does um skin care by spring bee oh hey spring um welcome back to the three boxing show good to see you hope you're doing well um she said I, it's okay hey I'm so sorry but I'm so glad you're here. Good to see you. Um, yeah, so after she explained um, exfoliating to me like that, I was like, oh, I got to explain this to clients. And then my clients understood it better. Uh, and exfoliating will help you the day before your wax, but it's going to really benefit you if you're consistent with it. So right after you get waxed, you wait three days, then exfoliate, and then every week you exfoliate three to four times or based off of what your skin needs. I said, hi, thanks, you're welcome. So that is what exfoliating is going to do for you. Um, now, you guys hear me talk about chemical exfoliants. I talk about the pads all the time because they're the most beneficial. Uh, chemical exfoliants are gentle on your skin so the word chemical makes it sound like it's not gentle but it actually is gentle on your skin uh, because it is eating away the dead skin cells on a cellular level so it's strong and working stronger than physical exfoliants but it's still gentle like if you uh, struggle with dark spots it's not going to be so abrasive where it's going to cause more trauma where you get more dark spots, if that makes sense. So exfoliating regularly um, and consistently. You can't just exfoliate the night before. 
Welcome to the 3 b Waxing Show, patients. Welcome to the 3 b Waxing Show. Better than the hype. I just felt like saying it like that because I like that name. There's somebody else who joined, but it, uh, Instagram's not showing me who it is. Um, welcome to the 3 b Waxing Show. La Bella Muse. Welcome to the 3 b Waxing Show. My black is beautiful. Three. Welcome to the 3 b Waxing Show. Lashes by Liss. Welcome to the 3 b Waxing Show. The lovely... Uh, Shamari. Welcome, welcome. For those of you who are new, let me know where you are coming from so I can greet you. Uh, we are talking about different ways to help reduce the pain of getting wax. So we'll give, give a few and I have some, a few more to go. Uh, so the next one, My Black is Beautiful 3, is from Houston. Okay, Houston. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, we actually, the last, not the last place we we went before everything shut down, fireworks. Um, they just went off. There's a bunch of kids outside. You hear that? I'm going to wait till it's over. Okay, the kids are done with the, we're not done. So there's kids that come out and play. They'll either play fireworks or they will um, be practicing a dance. Literally, that is what goes on. Okay, so what I was saying before all that happened is uh, Houston, welcome. Uh, the last big place that we went before everything shut down was Houston because the WWE uh, WrestleMania was there on my birthday. Or not WrestleMania, um, Royal Rumble. Uh, lovely Shamari, a natural is feller. She's go always dropping gems. I think you're sending that to natural. Thank you so much. And then, um, yeah, if you find this information valuable, um, please share so that way um, you can help your fellow friends or like people who are wa fellow waxing friends um improve their waxes hey uh sultry mocha welcome to the b waxing show amy is from missouri welcome from missouri all right so we went over i think we went we went over one two let's see let me write it down we went over um because i gave you guys some other ones that i didn't write down So we went over one, two, three, four ways to do it. Now, number five, because we did ibuprofen, Tylenol, numbing spray, exfoliating regularly. There was another one I said. I can't remember. It'll come back to me. Hey, I am Erica Lopez. Welcome to the Thubu Waxing Show. Good to see you. So the next one is getting a quality waxer. This is going to make a difference. Um, I've been waxing for 11 years. I posted uh, how I was in esthetician school when I was in high school. Hey, Sonia Marie 19, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Hey, little Rekka, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. If you are new, uh, waving at I am Erica. Hey, uh, if you're new, let me know where you're coming from. If you're new to the show. Having a quality waxer is so important. Uh, literally, it will change your results. Hey, Fabulash Beauty, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Um, Sonia Marie said good evening. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Hug you back. Um, forever uh, Bellas, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Good to see you. Sonia's watching from Delaware. Hey, Delaware. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, Fab Lash Beauty uh, JD said, Good evening, Queen. Good evening, Heart. Um, yeah, we have so many new people. So, welcome, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Good to see you. 
good to see you. I actually am probably going to reset and um, reintroduce myself and how I help you since you guys are just new jumping in. Uh, we are talking about ways to improve your waxes so it's not painful. So whether you get waxed from someone or you wax yourself, these are ways and things that you can do to improve your waxes so they're not so painful. Hey, Miss C. Uh, J. Roberts, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Hey, Shug Nice, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. For those of you who are new, uh, let me know where you're coming from so I can greet you properly. So that's what we're talking about. And for the month of keep reading what mother for the month of may and june i will be talking about um waxing all about waxing uh hello mrs or sorry miss cj roberts um hi shug nice uh birmingham i'm guessing birmingham alabama my geography is not at like you know but i'm guessing Birmingham, Alabama. Raspberry Storm, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. <laughs> Waving, it should be nice. Ryan Stun, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Uh, Fab Lash Beauty is watching from Indiana. Hey, from Indiana. Um, MSC Robert. Oh, yes. Okay, so you are from Birmingham, Alabama. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, do you think using soft wax is less painful for Brazilians? I have used, I've only used hard wax, which do you prefer? That is so funny you say that because um, I brought this up earlier and I'm going to say the intro. I'm going to answer the question and then I'm going to say the intro that talks about that as well. Uh, hey, 80 proof in my veins. Welcome to the Thubu Waxing Show. So, I've waxed with both, soft wax and hard wax. I've trained with both and I find that hard wax is so much better. It's way less painful and honestly, I should have made that one of the notes on here to use hard wax because if you are a person who gets wax and you're noticing it's really painful, you may actually want to switch to hard wax because it is gentle on the skin. I Now I only use hard wax, um, unless I'm in a bind and like I'm traveling somewhere and somebody wants me to wax them and there's only soft wax available, then I'll do it with soft wax, but I don't wax with soft wax. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Holistic, her, um, what's that? Holistic Bali Stevie, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Hey, 80 proof in my vein oh you're waving hey hey uh sue too sweet welcome to the 3b waxing show hey mexican mermaid 91 welcome to the 3b waxing show so um i prefer good question amy witt i prefer hard wax um better for the skin less painful uh gentle and when my clients leave the salon after being waxed, especially with Brazilians. They're not sticky and uh, soft wax can make you really sticky. Another thing is that soft wax takes the living cells of the skin when you do a strip of soft wax. So you can only really go over the skin one time. So say somebody does wax with soft wax or if I was waxing somebody with soft wax I would do a strip with soft wax and then go back over with hard wax because you can go over the skin multiple times with hard wax because it doesn't take that living um those living cells hey sweet uh tp welcome to the waxing show for those of you who are new uh let me know where you're coming from so I can greet you properly uh I will do the intro so you know who I am what I do and then uh, we'll continue the discussion of things that you can do to make your waxes less painful. 
So welcome to the Thibby Waxing Show. Welcome to the Thibby Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the Thibby Waxing Show. I am Becca, a pro waxer, skin therapist, and a licensed esthetician since 2010. So 11 years. I'm licensed in California and Arizona. Uh, I help people remove unwanted hair. So that is from your hairline to your toes. Uh, acne, if you have acne on your face, chest shoulders back stomach um, anywhere acne um, I help you remove ingrowns so ingrown bumps I came from used to having really bad ingrowns where I used to get boils and waxing and exfoliating helped me out and so I'm just sharing you know what has helped me and that's what I'm giving to the world is basically what I'm trying to say um, I also help people with discoloration. So if you have dark spots, um, hyperpigmentation, I help you with that. And the ways I help you with all those different things is through full body waxing. Um, Amy was asking me about soft wax and hard wax. Um, for those of you who don't know much about waxes, um, those are just different types of wax. I prefer and use hard wax. Um, on my clients and I use that for every area of the body so even you know your brows your bikini line inside of your nose I use it yes you can wax inside of your nose if you're drinking water with me time for a water break um, I've been if you are new to the show recently I've been saying drink water while you watch the show so that way you're in the habit of uh, drinking your water and getting your water intake in so I'm pretty much, as, I'm almost done for the day, which I'm very proud of myself. I'm at 64 ounces. This is my second day doing 64 ounces. Um, but yeah, get your water in. So water break. So let's see different things I do. So those are the different ways that I help people with their skin. I'm, I'm known for my products, my exfoliating pads uh, that are chemical exfoliants. Chemical exfoliants are great for sensitive skin. Uh, so you guys see that I post a lot about them uh, or, or um, I've helped a lot of estheticians get pads in their um, salon. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show, Bell. Let's see, how do I say this? Bell, Bellis Hair Studio. Welcome, welcome. Sonia Marie said your skin looks amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, so I'm known for my pads. Um, they can use on face and body. It's what I talk about all the time. For the month of April and March, we really focused on the acne and ingrown pads and all the ingredients in them because I like to teach you guys about ingredients. So not only if you're using the pads, you know what's going on in your skin, but also when you're buying other products, you know what the ingredients do in the product. So I, I do, my goal is to educate you so you can make better decisions about your skin routine. Hey, uh, Tishon05, welcome to the Waxing Show. Um, I think that's, wait, it's, that's not done with the intro. What else, um, do I help people with? Oh, I do help. So I did see a few estheticians come in. I do help salon professionals start their own product line, whether they want to start something from scratch, want to start soaps. Uh, I had a client, uh, I helped her with soaps last year in 2020. Um, if estheticians want to wholesale the pads, I do. Hey, um, Dar, Dari Rose, welcome to the Boo Waxing Show. Hey, Melanated R. Murian, welcome to the three, our Meridian, uh, G, welcome to the Boo Waxing Show. If you're new to the show, drop where you're coming from so I can greet you. Uh, so I help, you know, other estheticians build their salon clientele, different things like that I help with um, because I have been the regional trainer and pro waxer at other companies. So those are some ways I help you. Um, if you like find the, sh the show helpful to you, uh, 
I usually go live Wednesday through Friday, so you can, you know, turn on your notifications for that. But I offer um, three email lists where I send information to you about waxing, skincare, and, you know, career esthetician information. Hey, um, Northside9, welcome to the DB Waxing Show. Fab, you lash, beauty, JD is saying, um, I'm a licensed esthetician, woot woot. Uh, I'm interested in starting my own product line. Wonderful. Um, so there's different ways that I can help you with that. Uh, one is I do have a class. Uh, if you click the link in the bio, uh, it's one of the buttons, you'll see it. It's a class that goes into the steps of starting your own product line because I like to teach people how to do the steps so they can repeat it. When I first started helping people, I would just like give them um, places that I worked with and was like here you go and I gave them the steps but I was just like here but I didn't go into detail so I created a class it's like a recorded class that you can check out uh, where it goes into the steps somebody is really trying to get a hold of me right now it went into the steps of um, starting your own product line because um, I think it's important for people to know how to market a product, how to pick the ingredients out. Like I go through the whole process just because I want to teach people how to fish and not just, you know, oh, here, here you are and they can't replicate it. So the people that I work with, they are able to um, continue to make products after they're done working with me. Hey, uh, Casas Aesthetics, welcome to the Debut Waxing Show. Again, if you guys are new, to the show let me know where you're coming from so i can greet you um so yeah that's one way to work with me and then another way is to do pick my brain calls uh, so the girl who last year who did the soap bars they're so cute we worked together uh for like a month a little over a month and we did calls together uh weekly uh 80 proof in my veins uh, quick question: Is exfoliating scrub good to use after waxing, or something to, or something to slow down hair growth, or something to slow down hair growth so fast? So I think that's two questions. Um, so exfoliating scrub is okay to use. You want it to be very gentle, um, and you want to wait. I tell my clients three to four days after, or three days after your wax. Um, depending on the area, you may want to go for a chemical exfoliant. So exfoliating scrub is a physical exfoliant, a chemical, um, and chemical exfoliants are, are not as abrasive. So there's nothing wrong with the exfoliating scrub. Depending on the area, you do, you may want to do a chemical, um, exfoliant. For something that slows down the hair faster, I don't really know. When I used to work at EWC, they had a lotion that had the ingredients that um, help slow down hair, but I don't know of one that um, inhibits hair growth. What does happen though, when you are consistent with waxing uh, and your waxer is a good waxer or you're waxing yourself and you're doing a good job taking it from the root, then the hair will start to slow down naturally. Hopefully that answers your question. Fabulous said, awesome. I will check out the link in bio. Wonderful. So uh, I was doing the intro and letting you know if you want waxing tips and information, like exfoliating information, uh, these are good questions, things I touch on in the emails. Join the Wax Lounge. Click the link in the bio. Join the Wax Lounge. If you want information about ingredients and skincare advice, Join the lab, uh, 80 proof. My man said, awesome, thanks, you're welcome. And then if you are a salon professional and you are looking to grow your clientele, whether you're working for someone or working for yourself, cause that's important too, uh, but I'm not gonna go on a tangent about that. Uh, starting your own product line or um, different things about being in the esthetician career, then join the salon team. So those are the different ways to stay connected through emails. And then if you want to work with one-on-ones, there's different things that you can do one-on-one. All right. So 
good questions. Um, we talked about the different ways to improve. Um, so your waxes are less painful. Lost my train of thought for a second. Another way to help your your waxes be less painful is to use a moisturizer. Whether you're moisturizing, so whether you're moisturizing your face, your chest, your stomach, your you really should be moisturizing your vagina, like putting lotion down there that has no parabens your legs that does affect your wax hey mrs no filter hey 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 good to see you welcome back to the three waxing show hey 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 um that really does affect your waxes um the reason being is because moisture dry hair breaks so if you have dry hair and you're getting wax and it's breaking, then you're just basically getting a painful shave and it's not worth it. So the reason why I put that in there is because you want to moisturize um, so your waxes are less painful and it's worth it, right? We're not trying to spend $70 for a Brazilian wax and it'd be basically a, sh a painful shave. Hey, um... Oh, Mrs. Nova just said, hey, hey. All right, so that is, um, so to go over a few of them, I had to write, write them down so I don't forget. Um, ibuprofen, Tylenol, exfoliating regularly, using the numbing spray, uh, hard wax, uh, finding a quality waxer. And there's one other one I brought up, but I totally forgot because I just brought it off, off the top of my head. But one thing about a quality waxer too, and I mentioned this yesterday, is that you want to stay consistent with a good waxer. You don't want to be moving around to different waxers. Uh, when I worked at a company where you could go to different waxers, we noticed that the people who would move around would get more ingrowns because even if people are trained the same way to wax and use the same products to wax you, their pool is different. So the way they pull your hair is just different and can cause ingrowth. It's not saying that their way is incorrect or wrong, but it is moving around and changing does affect your hair because you want to train your hair. We're damaging the hair follicle and we're training our hair. So the next one is, and this one, I, it doesn't help with pain with everyone, but I wanted to bring it up because I get asked this question often. Do you have a favorite brand of hard wax? What ingredients work best? So my uh, favorite brand, I have a few favorite brands. Um, Syrup Hill Wax is a good brand. Um, I thought it was only a professional brand, but it actually, you can get it on Amazon. So I've been doing, I've been teaching people how to wax themselves at home um, on FaceTime. And they've been getting the Serapil Wax Blue from Amazon. And I really need to get an affiliate link with that, y'all. If you know how to do that and you want to help me figure out how to set that up, I would really appreciate that. Um, hey, Sarah, welcome back to the Waxing Show. Good to see you, girl. Hey Spring Blue 5, welcome back to the Blue Wax and Show. So Syrup Hill Blue is good. Um, I do like Barrett in Wax, but that is for professionals only. Uh, also, uh, she's one of my clients. I helped her start her product line. She has exfoliating pads. Um, she's Pretty Girls Get Waxed. She has a wax um, that I've used that's good and she's a black owned business. So um, those are a few of the waxes that I recommend. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then if you are, because I don't know if you're an esthetician or not, but for the estheticians watching, if you are looking for um, like what to get when you are starting your wax salon, if you go to 3bwaxing.com under professionals, I forget what, the, what I named it, 
but I made a little ebook um, with the different wax brands and then um, the different things you need when you are opening up a wax salon for those of you who are transitioning to working somewhere waxing and then what you need all right so this next one that I'm gonna bring up is it doesn't some people it helps them with pain some people it doesn't I get asked a lot so I thought I'd bring it up so one of my so people have asked me does smoking weed help um with the pain of the wax like should I smoke before I come in and there's I've had different I've had clients say different things so some clients say yes it makes them so relaxed uh, Sonia's laughing um hey uh Shakia Shanika uh, 789 welcome to the blue waxing show hey vcs 8400 welcome to the blue waxing show so um the lovely uh shea marie light bulb so some clients say that smoking helps them more relaxed and that um the experience is better for them that you know they're very chill the and this is great for clients who um, get a wax and then if they get a facial afterwards then they just like fall asleep they get the service it's like a spa experience and we do the painful stuff first right but then I've had clients can you all hear the kids outside um I've had clients say Deanna Deanna welcome to the TV show I've literally been thinking about you and I was like oh, because, okay, uh, side note, Instagram doesn't let me see your stuff anymore. Because I don't know why. Um, but I don't see your posts or anything. But um, I'm so glad you came on. Welcome, first of all. Hope you're doing well. And I want you eventually to come on the show. I guess I'll message you once I get a chance. But Deanna's an esthetician as well. Um, she's a fabulous esthetician. She's had me on her lives. Um, good to see you. So, uh, okay, yeah, so smoking. So then I've had clients say that smoking has actually made it worse because it intensified the waxing. So, I would say try it and see if it works for you. It's just different with each person. Personally, I would think that smoking and then getting like because I have clients who'll come in for wax waxing and then we'll do their facial like I'll spend three or four hours with them because they'll get a whole bunch of services I would think that um that would be useful if it doesn't if it doesn't bother them also a great idea for a um business and and I want to do this like in the future when I you know, but this is for someone else who's listening to this who wants to do this. It would be great to do it where people just come and they smoke and they, um, you know, get their facial and it would just be like a full on experience. Like if it was like a dispensary, but also a, a facial place, that would be such a good business idea. Um, or if, if the uh dispensaries had estheticians there that would be really good speaking of that i have reached out i have been to dispensaries and asked if they when they have events do they want me to come and do massages and stuff for them i just didn't really follow up with them but that's side note it's besides the fact okay so i'm gonna open it up for, oh one more i have one more left um for you so another thing that will help you make your waxes less painful is staying out of the sun a week before your wax. Um, the lovely Shea Marie said what I was saying, right? Like that would be a good, it would be a good business. It would be a good setup for everybody. Um, hey Quinn, Tracy Marie, welcome to the Zuby Waxing Show. So, um 
staying out of the sun a week before your wax and this really goes for your face and your arms because I've seen this a lot with arms when you are out in the sun you carry heat so like in the summer when I'm waxing people uh, I will notice that they will think the wax is extra hot when it's really been the same temperature or if somebody's been out running errands in the, in the heat and it's like 95 degrees they'll think the wax is hot versus somebody who's been in air conditioning working all day when you're a waxer you start picking up on these things as you wax with the seasons you start noticing trends of how people act and different things like that you just start noticing Let's do a water break, y'all. For those of you who are new to the show, uh, we're drinking water while we are, while you're listening to the show. Hey, uh, Chris did it. Welcome to the Thibaut Waxing Show. Uh, I'm at 64 ounces. I'm so happy I made it through. Uh, but I encourage you to drink water while you're listening so you get your water in and you learn some waxing information. I'm almost done. Um, hey, um, Burnt Brilliance, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Thibu, I said, yes, get that water in. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're getting your water in. Uh, Chris did it, said hello. Hey, uh, bring the beat back. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. <clears throat> DVS he said, I did a gallon today. I'm so proud of myself. Dang, yes. Okay. Uh, doing the most no I'm kidding uh congratulations that is so good uh i applaud you because that is a lot of freaking water so very good <clears throat> if you're just joining uh, we're talking about ways to make waxing less painful i'm going on the last one right now uh if you're new to the show let me know where you're coming from so i can um greet you properly and then uh we're also drinking water while we are doing the show so that way you're getting your water in while you are getting some waxing information from an esthetician so the so your body contain will keep heat therefore if you're out in the sun multiple days in a row and then you go and get like your arm wax not only will the waxing like hold the heat but the waxing will, um, or it'll be, it'll feel extra hot, but also it will, it can make your waxes more painful. So, uh, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show, who Kaylee, um, oh, DBS, that's also why we just journey. Okay, so it all goes in together. So, uh, with the waxing or being in the sun before you get waxed it can actually make it more painful because you're going to be more sensitive so you can also get more red um oh and one other thing i also want to say is came to my mind because there's so many things that i know because i think of what what clients have experienced and what we've noticed together um Momo521, welcome to the Waxing Show, SOS Columbia. Um, uh, who Kaylee said we're being murdered, please share. Welcome to the Waxing Show. So, um, that threw me off, to be honest with you. Uh, where are we at? Mm mm mm. I don't know. That kind of threw me off. And we we're I'm trying to just do a positive vibe here. Where was I? Does anyone know where I was at? <laughs> I am totally thrown. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm thrown too. Where was what was I talking about? Oh, okay, I'm back on track. What a client had 
So another thing I wanted to share, I didn't have it in my notes, but one thing also that can cause your waxes to be more painful is um, heavy drinking before uh, Chris did it, said the body retaining heat, perfect, thank you. So the next one I wanted to talk about was if you're doing some heavy drinking before you get waxed, um, so I've had, I've seen a lot, right? So I've had people come in where they've taken like, you know, five or six shots, actually eight or nine shots before getting waxed. And technically it thins your blood. So it's not good to drink technically. But what I've noticed is when people drink a lot or if they drink the night before and come in hungover, I've had a lot of that, especially on Saturday mornings uh, when I work, they will have like a reaction after the wax or it'll be, they'll be more sensitive. So, um, drinking like two glasses of wine isn't a problem like even when you come into my salon I offer you a glass of um, a tattoo artist here tattoo artist here's a note um, yes if you can uh, share that would be great or tattoo artist uh, welcome to the Thibu waxing show uh, softly Lene welcome to the Thibu waxing show so if you can not drink heavy before your wax that is going to be very beneficial to you debbie essie do you mind waxing women um on their menstrual cycle i don't mind that's a good question and the reason why i don't mind is uh so when you wax, and this is what I was saying earlier about being consistent. That was the one I wanted to share, that I shared. So when you are consistent with being waxed, it's going to hurt less because your hair is thinning out over time. So for my clients, I like to get them on a cycle based off their hair type. So we start learning their hair type. I start, you know, okay, you need to do this, this, this. Say their three-week shows up on their menstrual cycle, I still want them to get waxed because we're in the process of thinning out the hair and we have a program going. So if they're on their menstrual, I don't want them to feel like, oh, I need to not come in because of that. So I just say, put a tampon in. I have tampons at the salon or I had tampons at the salon and just say, oh, put it in. We'll get you waxed. So I don't mind because I think that it's a, um, I think that we need to keep up the progress. And I'm not grossed out about that stuff because tampon, everything's inside. So it's not like it's coming out and stuff. Uh, Softly Lane said, hello. Uh, she also said, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining. Um, if you're new to the show, drop where you're coming from. Hey Acquired Taste 183, welcome to the Baby Waxing Show. Okay, so Queen Tracy Marie, it won't let me show the um, question because I have the badges on, but I will say the question. So it's what's the pros and cons of getting waxed versus not getting waxed? Great question, and I'm gonna answer it, but I also think that you should look at, wait, what's your name? Queen Tracy Marie. You should also look at yesterday's show because the topic for yesterday's show was drop your razor and go to waxing. So, uh, the benefits of The benefits of waxing regularly or waxing versus not waxing. It thins out the hair, it exfoliates the skin, uh, it lasts longer, 
uh, it's going to improve your skin so much. Um, okay, so I am going to delete this person. I, or if they just stop spamming, I, um, I get it and I'm for the cause and that's why I do stuff like this and empower. I empower, I help empower black estheticians if you're talking about how we're being murdered. This is how I serve. Oh, you're talking about our country. Okay, yeah, this is not the, um, this is not the place. That kept throwing me off. So I had to get rid of that. Okay. So for Queen Tracy, I believe it was, Tracy Marie. Yeah, so those are the benefits. But I also recommend that you um, watch yesterday's video. Because even though it was about Brazilian waxing, those same benefits count with um, other body areas. And one of the big benefits is that you're doing yourself a service of thinning out your hair uh regularly as you go with each wax so um with shaving you just you know gotta shave to the next one but with waxing you're thinning it out so you're doing more um debbie the sd said i don't mind it either but some clients shy away from it and then it messes up the routine yeah so i get it like i'll tell clients i'll say if you don't feel comfortable doing it then we'll just you know skip it to the next week but um because they're usually worried about me a lot of times and i'm like don't worry about me i'll be fine as long as you're clean down there i'm cool but um if they're concerned about like oh i don't feel clean then we just move it move it out acquired taste 183 said hi softly Lene is from dallas here we have a houston too so we got some texas Sonia Marie said, I feel I'm more sensitive during that time of the month. I try to schedule my waxes around it. Yeah, so clients will do that. Um, and some clients will feel sensitive during their wax or during their menstrual. Or I've seen a lot of clients also feel really sensitive a week before their menstrual. So it just depends on um, per pre preference. Hey, uh, LS Skin, welcome to the TV Waxing Show. Acquired Taste 183 said, thank you. I'm a recent esthetician student graduate from uh, New Jersey. Well, go ahead. Um, congratulations on your graduation. You're in the right place because I help estheticians in their career. And then I love Jersey because my husband's from there. Uh, Queen Tracy Marie said, okay, thanks. Yeah, you are welcome. I hope that was very helpful for you. Um, Mrs. December, welcome to the Waxing Show. The lovely Shea Marie, praying hands. Um, TKs, welcome to the Waxing Show. Rose's Weather, welcome to the Waxing Show. There's a few new people. There's actually quite a few people who just came in. So let us know where you're coming from. So I can greet you. Uh, what a touch, welcome to the Waxing Show. Jones in 2016, welcome to the Waxing Show. Hey, uh, Calendre, Calendre, Arian, welcome to the TV Waxing Show. Rose's Weather said, I've never waxed. Is it safe for sensitive skin? Yes, yeah, so um, I'm going to recommend that you watch this live because I am plan on saving it. But uh, we talked about hard wax is great for sensitive skin. So if you are going to get wax, then you're going to want to use hard wax have your if you're gonna wax yourself use hard wax if you're gonna go get wax somewhere make sure they use hard wax and not soft, soft wax so those are the ones that I have for you um the last one was alcohol I added that to my list because I thought of it while we were sitting here talking hey sunshine nine seven three so for those of you who just joined uh, we have been talking about waxing debbie uh the sd said wax is safer since skin, skin there's different formulations for wax that you can use so we are talking about um 
ways to make waxing less painful and um, yeah it I came up I gave you guys a list of it to help you we have some estheticians in the house um, Debbie is just talking about uh, helping answer uh, Rose Weathers questions so thank you Debbie um, but there's so many benefits of waxing and I will be talking about waxing all month. Um, I usually go live Wednesday through Friday at 326 PM Pacific standard time today. I just felt like jumping on. Um, and I have three things for you. For those of you who are interested in getting waxed, but are nervous or you've gotten wax and it was a bad experience or you get wax but you want it to be less painful so for those of you who are interested in waxing yourself at home I created a checklist click the link in the bio first button it's a checklist of what you need to wax yourself at home so it goes into because you're gonna need sticks you're gonna need body powder and I tell you what what you'll need like the large sticks you'll need for these areas, the smaller sticks you'll need for these areas, all that kind of stuff. Um, then the second button is if you are interested in waxing yourself and waxing your underarms, then I show you how to do that step by step. Um, and I use hard wax in the video because hard wax is best for sensitive skin. And... Um, for those of you who just joined, I talked about earlier how I did my underarms and I used that um, numbing spray from Target and it worked really well on my underarms. It wasn't like sore or anything. So if you're kind of nervous, you may want to use that. Uh, hey Kermit911, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. And then the third thing I have for you is if you need help with your skin or, um, you know, you why am I blanking if you need help with your skin or um you need help with waxing yourself at home you can do a wax with me call and I will teach you I started doing that um when the pandemic started and honestly it's been very helpful for people like I was a little nervous on teaching people how to wax their own Brazilian. To be honest with you, I was like, how is this going to work? I mean, I teach estheticians how to wax people, but waxing somebody itself. And it's gone really well. Uh, some people, like everyone's learning curve is different. Some people need more calls. Like they need like two or three calls. Some people can get it in one call. Um, so it depends on what your learning is. But it's been really good. Uh, the people who who've done it, they are happy that they can now wax themselves. Um, Cause even if you wax yourself, you may still go to a salon professional. You just have that in your back pocket if you can't ever go to an esthetician. So it's like doing your nails. You can do them yourself, but you like to go and get it done. So that is all I have. If there are no more questions, you guys had great questions. Um, thanks for joining the show. Hey Indigo, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Uh, it was great to see uh, everyone, new people who are all from different places. We had Delaware, um, we had uh, Houston, Dallas. So great to see everyone. Uh, I will be on tomorrow at 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so I will be on talking about waxing. Uh, the lovely Shane Marie said, thanks love, it's always a pleasure, continue to bless. Uh, you are welcome, thank you. And then Debbie, the SDC I sent that DM by the way. Okay. Uh, Chris did it, said thank you, you're welcome. Uh, the Ricky is miss, welcome to the TV Waxing Show. We're actually getting off, but I will save this uh, live for you. Uh, for those of you who need to go back and um, take notes or figure out what you need to do to make your waxes less painful because the goal is that you will wax there will be enjoyable experiences for you and you will feel confident in your skin and um, you know just live your best life because you'll be confident 
Uh, Softly Lane said, thank you. You're welcome. Acquired Taste 183 said, enjoy the remainder of your evening. Thank you, all of you. Enjoy your um, evening and have a blessed night. I'll see you tomorrow.